Hey Shuby Doodlers, how are you doing? Well, my new picture book, Pandora, is available online and in bookshops. So I thought I would show you how to draw Pandora's box. Are you curious enough to find out what's inside? I'm not going to use a pen today. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to draw Pandora's box, at least the way that I drew it. So when I draw a box, in 3D, I draw a rhombus. I think it's a rhombus. I think it's a parallelogram anyway, isn't it? And then we come down and down and down vertically. And then we echo these lines to make other parallelograms. We don't want it quite so deep. Uh, so, th so this is a parallelogram here, and there's a parallelogram. So three parallelograms. So I'm going to rub some of this mess out now while I still can and just get that a bit more accurate there like that. Good. Now, uh, maybe down a little bit more. There we are. So I'll carry it <laughs> So we're going to want to have a lid. So the top of the box is so imagine it's kind of sliced off like that. And we're going to want to kind of soften the edges as well. So they're not going to be corners. They're going to be just rounded a little bit. And here in the middle, you want a circle and a little kind of trapezium. <laughs> trapeze. It depends. It's different in the States. I think what we call a trapeze is called a trapezium in the States and vice versa. So there is a the, the lock. And then on the top, it's going to have to not look inside. I'm going to be using a Prismacolor. This is a French grey, 90%. This is like a, well, it's, it's a, it's a colored pencil. So it's a wax based colored pencil. And I like it because when I do watercolor on top, it doesn't smudge. So. I'm softening around that edge, okay? And again, I'm going to just curve that slightly there and curve straight lines but curved corners. Okay, so I'm going to curve that there as well. And then we're going to want this. This is the keyhole. So we're going to want that in there like that and then a little curve and that would be quite dark inside there and then we're going to want to slightly curved in around there and we're going to curve that as we come around the corner and then that will curve there and we want to write on the top do not now look to get this angle to get it to look like it's actually lying on there you need to get that angle so the t needs to you don't want to do it vertically you want to do this t at an angle sort of that's parallel to that and similar with the l do not look and then the down of the k has to be the same in so And then we want to get a kind of a, a wood effect. So I'm going to draw these kind of curves like this coming across like that. And then this one will kind of carry on down there, there. And then this will also come up across the top of the box. Might get another bit in there, so it's going to be going over like that. Now, a box is no good without a key, is it? So we want to draw a key. This is going to be in three dimensions as well as if it's lying on the table. So we want an ellipse. And let's follow that parallelogram, para parallel to that as well. And that needs a little curve at the end. And the key is going to be a bit like that. Um, and then we need the key bit. I don't know what, it must have a name, the bit that comes out like that. So what happens? Let's have a look. I'm going to draw on the top of this around. And we want to draw.
go around and then that's going to be kind of thicker on the inside there and then we probably want to make that a little bit thicker there too and this will come down to the uh, 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 the whatever it's called and we need that to be kind of a jiggly jaggly <laughs> crenellated castellated kind of shape on the end there and that will go around there so which way we're we going to have the light shining i think we'll have the light coming this direction which means that this is going to be darker so i'm just going to take that there and just shade that in a little bit um, and I'm gonna shade there too but then I'm pressing very very gently and I'm gonna fade out as I get to there and similarly here I'm pressing a bit but then I'm gonna fade out as I get further away from there and here we want this to be a little bit darker so that we're getting a kind of a lightness across here and if you're not getting it you can always erase to get that kind of lightness and we've got a line across here haven't we we don't want a line because that's a kind of a soft curve so i'm going to take that pencil line out and then here we're going to get the key will be kind of darker on this side and that side and we're going to want a bit of shadow on the ground as well which will be kind of around like that. And, and there you go. How to draw Pandora's box. What are you gonna put inside yours? There's a Pandora competition starting on Monday. Here's the link. If you're watching this in 20 years time, you're too late. Pandora's box is beguilingly simple, isn't it? But uh, it's what's inside that counts. Don't forget, Pandora is available in all good bookshops and online. In the meantime, make sure you have subscribed. Click that little button down there uh, and ring the bell when you do and you'll be notified of uh, all new videos. And in the meantime, keep reading, reading, reading. Be curious, curious, curious. Keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.